Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. If you're a regular view of the channel, you know I'm a big fan of cloud gaming, especially in the GPU climate we're in right now. It's kind of hard to find a decently priced GPU. So cloud gaming can definitely come in handy to some people as long as they have a decent internet connection. Now, some of my favorites are GeForce Now, Stadia, and xCloud. But until now, we've only been able to run xCloud on our Android devices. But uh, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to set it up on your Windows machine. Now, it's not officially available to the public, but we can get the testing version installed, and I've been doing a lot of gameplay here. It actually works really well. And instead of streaming in 720p like it does on an Android device, this is actually streaming at 1080p. Now, before we jump into installing this, which is actually pretty easy to do, I did want to show you some gameplay here. Now, this does work with an Xbox controller, I personally haven't tested any other controller, but I've tested it wired and over Bluetooth and it does work out quite well. So right now I'm just on a simple Windows machine. This does not have a dedicated GPU. This is actually using a Ryzen 4700G. And when it comes to gaming, it does a decent job, but uh, you know, we're using integrated graphics here, built-in Radeon graphics. And having something like Xbox Cloud Gaming set up on a machine like this gives me access to over a hundred different games that I can stream to this machine. But in order for all of this to work, you do have to be subscribed to the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Now, like I mentioned, before I jump right into showing you how to do this, we're going to test out, let's just say, Dirt 5 real quick. And up here in the top left hand corner, we have these three little dots. Feedback, developer, we can toggle full screen. We're gonna to go to developer. We have statistics. And from here, display stats. Health at 100%, jitter 0 0.90 milliseconds. And our resolution is 1920 by 1080. So I'm actually gonna go full screen with it. We'll get into a little bit of gameplay and I'll show you how this performs. Alright, so here we are with Dirt 5. I'm connected using my Xbox controller over Bluetooth. Everything's been working pretty well. Now, as you can see, the graphical fidelity just isn't the same as if you were running this natively on the PC, but it's very playable. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. And you gotta keep in mind, I mean, this is cloud gaming. We're streaming this game over network from Microsoft servers to our PC here. So all of the grunt work is done on their servers, and you really don't need that much power to run these games like this on your PC. I've actually tested this on a lower end N4200, and it does work really well, especially over Ethernet. Now, I definitely want to show you how to get this up and running on your Windows PC, so I'm going to go ahead and exit the game. And what I'm going to do is move over to another PC, because I don't want to delete it from this. i got another PC I've never installed it on, and we'll get it up and running on that one. Okay, so I've just moved over to my other machine here. Before we get this installed, I do want to give a big shout out to TuxUser360 over on Twitter for coming up with this method. Not exactly sure how they came across this, but it does work. So in the description of this video, there's going to be two links. First one is going to be the Spanish version of the Xbox Game Streaming Test app. If we click on this, we're not going to be able to access it because it's a little locked down right now. But we can copy this URL and we can head over to the next link in the description. This is RG AdGuard. From here, we're just gonna paste that link right in, choose the check mark, give it a second to populate the links at the bottom. From here, you can see that there's a bunch of different links here. What we're actually looking for is the AppX bundle, not the eAppX bundle, but the AppX bundle. And as of making this video, it is known as the Xbox Game Streaming Content Test 1.2103.401.0 Neutral. We're going to copy this. We're going to open up a new tab. And we're going to paste it right in. Press Enter. And as you can see, it's downloading here. Okay, so real quick, just in case you run into this issue. What I've done is the first one I downloaded worked out just fine. If I go up to View, File Name Extensions, you can see that this is the .appx bundle. But I tried it again on another machine and I kept getting a file that looks like this. All we need to do is add that extension to the end of this. So if I right click, rename, at the very end here, 
AppX bundle, then it'll work. All we'll need to do is click on this one. But most of the time, you will get the correct file from the get-go. If not, just add that .appx bundle to the end of it. I'm going to show in folder, and here it is. All we need to do is click on it. Close all this down real quick. So now we're just going to click install. Give it a second to finish up. It's going to open up a window for us. I'm going to allow continue and it's going to actually try to connect to one of our Xboxes in the house, but we're not worried about local streaming. We want to do cloud streaming. So up here with the three little lines, we're going to go to project X cloud, jump in settings, and we need to enter an offering ID. Now there's actually two that we can try X GPU test, all lowercase. And if that one doesn't work, we can also try X GPU beta and it's case sensitive. Press enter. Background's going to change. We can close. And now we have xCloud on our Windows PC. Now remember, you do need Game Pass Ultimate for this to work and you will need to sign in. I'm already signed in on my Windows machine through the Microsoft Store, so it automatically detected it. But if you need to sign in, Click this little icon up in the top right hand corner and sign in. But you have to have Game Pass Ultimate for cloud streaming to work. Let's go ahead and test out Halo. Remember, we can actually go full screen right here. Or we can just leave it windowed if you want to. Alright, so I just wanted to fast forward this and get into a little bit of gameplay. I've had really good luck with Halo here, uh, all of the versions. Personally, I'm a big fan of Halo 3, so this is the one I always play with xCloud. But yeah, I mean, this does work really well on the Windows PC. And it works great on lower-end machines, anywhere from the Intel 4200 on up. If you already have a machine that runs this kind of stuff at 1080p, there's really no need for it. But if you're working with a lower-end system, this is a great option. And in order to exit, we can just click these three little dots, quit game. It's going to ask us if we want to rate this. We can choose X. And that's it. You now have xCloud up and running on your Windows machine. Tons of great games in here. And I've actually been subscribed to the Game Pass Ultimate for a while. We got Xboxes in the house. This is a great way just to have a lot of games. I know some people don't like these subscriptions. But if I was to go through and buy all of these, I mean, I'd spend thousands of dollars. We have over 100 games that we can stream to an Android device or now our lower end Windows PCs. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. Links for everything I mentioned in this video are in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.